Hello, my friend. This is your six pack session. Might not necessarily give you a six pack, but it is sure gonna make it feel like there's one in there. You're gonna start with plank walkouts with a hip stretch and some push ups. So, standing at the short end of your mat, facing your mat, arms overhead. Round forward, get your hamstring stretch, easy, soft knees. Walk out to your push up plank position. Hip stretch. You're gonna step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. Big step up, sink into the hips, lengthen the spine forward, and then send the leg back. Switch, left foot to the outside of the left hand, sink into the hips, stretch, go back to your plank. Three push-ups. One, two, three, walk back to your toes. Roll up, arms to the ceiling. You do it three more times. We're gonna start on the other side first this time. So as you walk out to your plank, left foot steps up first to the outside of the hand. Step it back, right foot, get that hip stretch. Step it back, three push-ups. One, two, three, walk it back. Technically that's our first set. Second set, starting with the right leg first. Round forward, walk it out. Right foot steps to the outside of the right hand, sink into the hips, get the stretch, send the leg back. Left foot steps to the outside of the left hand, sink into the hips, step it back, three push-ups. One, two, three, walk it back. Get your hamstring stretch, roll it up. And then last one, evening out the last set. As you walk out into your plank, left foot steps up first, get your hip stretch. Send the leg back, right foot, get your hip stretch, send it back, three more push-ups, one, two, three, and then you lower your knees and you get ready for the series of five. So we're gonna send the legs forward. We are doing the series of five, classical Pilates series, no breaks, starting with the single leg stretch. Right knee into your chest, head curls up, Left leg out, switch 10 times. One, and two, three, and four. Outside hand going to the ankle, so when you switch your legs, you switch your hands. Six, breathing, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Double leg stretch right away. Both knees in, hands to the ankles. Inhale, arms up, legs out. Exhale, circle the arms, bend in. Inhale for two, exhale to bend. Inhale for three, exhale to bend. Inhale four, and exhale. Keeping your shoulders nice and high off the mat as the arms go overhead. Really try not to let your shoulders dip down. I think we have three more. Two more. Last one, right into the single straight leg stretch. Right leg up, grab the ankle. Left leg scissors out, get a little hamstring stretch, but be gentle, and then switch for two. Switch, three, switch, four, switch, five, and six, seven. Keeping your pelvis nice and still, keeping the shoulders nice and lifted. Two more sets, last set. Right into the double straight leg stretch. Hands behind your head, legs to the ceiling. Both legs lower, both legs lift. 10 times, lower for two, and lift. Lower for three, keep your inner thighs squeezing. Lower for four. As you lower, don't let your low back come off the mat, you keep it anchored. We got five more here, this is six. Shoulders stay nice and high, even if you get tired. This is eight, nine, last one, right into the crisscross, no breaks. Twisting opposite elbow to knee, breathing with it, two, three. Try to keep that back shoulder off the mat. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, last one, and then ooh, take a quick rest, and then pop right up. Going into our 
glute series. We're gonna go from all fours. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Start with the right leg back. Extend the leg, make sure that tushy is on. 10 times, you're gonna bend your knee and straighten the leg, feeling that glute contract when you extend. Three, four, five, six. Next day's long, lifting out of the shoulders. Two more, and then hold the extension. Straight leg, lower, lift, squeeze the tushy. Lower, lift two. There's just a little micro pause at the top. So you really make sure that glute is on. Let's call that one six, seven, eight, nine. You're gonna hold the lift, keep the thigh where it is, Bend your knee, bring your heel to the tushy, try to keep that thigh parallel to the floor, and then straighten 10 times for two. And three. So my glute is on, keeping my thigh in place. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, keep the knee bent, pulse the thigh up and down. We're gonna go 15 times, three, four, Five. It's a contraction of the tushy. Eight, nine, ten, five more, four more, three more, two more, last one. And then that right leg comes all the way forward, getting ready for single leg get ups. You're going to stand all the way up on the right leg, lift the left knee, and then you're going to lift your heel of the right foot for a nice challenge. Going all the way back down. Ten times, lift up for two and all the way back down. It's a challenge. Keep your core on, lift for three, and all the way back down. Up for four, and all the way back down. Working strength in the glute, all the way down to the ankle and the foot. We got five more, this is six, and all the way down. Really controlling that descend, so you're not thudding down to the mat. You lift and then you lower with control using that tushy. You got two more. And the last one, you're gonna lift, you're gonna hold the lift for 10 seconds. Up and you're holding for 10, nine, just fight for it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you're gonna come all the way down to your all fours. Start the same thing on the other side. A flip flop so that you can see me. Okay, so the left leg goes behind you. Straighten the leg, make sure that tushy is on. Bend and extend 10 times. Every time you straighten, you feel that glute engage. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the extension 10, lower lift. 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, bend and extend. Keep the thigh where it is, bend your knee, pull your heel to your tushy, straighten the leg. Two, every time you bend and extend, feel the glute working to keep that thigh parallel to the floor. You're trying not to let the knee drop, keep it up. Let's do four more, three more, two more, and then keep it bent, 15 pulses. Two, three, four, neck long, make sure you're still breathing. Seven, eight, little contractions of the tushy every time you lift that thigh. You got three more, two more, and then that left leg comes all the way forward for your single leg get-ups. Stand all the way up on that left leg, right knee lifts in front, heel lifts, and then you lower all the way back down. And all the way up for two, and all the way back down. And up for three, and lower. Up for four, and lower. Keep the core engaged. When you stand up, really try to get your weight all the way over that toe. This is six, and lower. Get all the way over the toe, hips underneath you, seven, Ooh. and lower, it's a fight, just keep working on it. Eight, and lower, 
two more. You know what the last one. You've got your balance hold here for 10, nine, eight, core tight, seven, lift through the crown of the head, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pretty good. Okay, come back down to your all fours. We're gonna do some work for your back, okay? So in your all fours, spine is long, right arm goes to the T. L lower the arm, finger taps the mat, lift the arm, just the height of the shoulder. Don't take it any higher, just right there. Lower lift. 10 times, three, look for the muscle at the bottom of the shoulder blade. Every time, there's that little micro pause right there, and that's where you're looking for the muscle at the bottom of the shoulder blade. Three more, two more. Now, hold the lift, bend your elbow, take the hand behind your head, rotate that right elbow and shoulder open, don't let your hips move, keep them steady, and then you're gonna take that right elbow to the left, elbow to elbow. Rotate, open the right side of the back, and then reverse elbow to elbow. 10 times, this is three. And untwist. Open four. And together. Five, looking again, keep looking for that right side of the back. Six. The more steady you keep your hips and pelvis, the more that back is gonna work. You got three more here. Two more. Last one. And then you go to the other side. I'll flip flop so that you can still see. All right, left arm goes to the T, palm face down, spine is long. Look for the muscle at the bottom of the shoulder blade. Tap the arm down and lift and pause for 10 and nine. Bottom of the shoulder blade, this is seven, six, five, four, three, Two, you hold the lift, bend your elbow, take the hand behind your head. Rotate the left side of the back, open, keep your hips steady, don't let them go with you. And then reverse, take elbow to elbow, so you're kind of turning towards that arm. Open the chest for two, and bring elbow to elbow. Rotate for three, and elbow to elbow. Keep the chest and the chin lifted, the tendencies, we wanna start rounding, really think about the spine long. And five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Okay, lying onto your stomach for your YWY. I feel like I need to face this way, don't know why, but let's go with it. So laying on your tummy, upper body and arms are gonna hover off the mat in your Y position. Keep your legs down. Eyes down, looking straight down towards the mat. Bend your elbows into your W, extend to your Y for 10. Nine, reach, eight, and extend, seven. Every time you pull down, muscle at the bottom of the shoulder blade. You wanna find it each time. Five, four, three, two, Bend into your W, stay here. I've decided to call this flying Ws. You lower your W to the mat, you lift it back up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now lift and hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, child's pose. Hands in front of your shoulders, send your hips back, give your back a nice stretch. And then come up to your gate position. We're doing side sit-ups. So you're gonna extend your right leg out to your gate position. You want your right heel in line with your left knee, the right toes point forward, hips forward, shoulders forward, hands go behind your head. You're gonna side sit up over until you're in a straight line from the crown of the head to the heel. Hold five, four, three, two, one, and then come right up to vertical. We're gonna do that five times. Five times for a count of five. Hold five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Over, third one. Hold five, chest is lifted, neck is long. Three, two, one, and come up. Two more times, over, hold, five, four, 
three, two, one. Right side of the waist. Should be feeling it. One more here like this, holding five. Four, three, two, one. Coming up, 10 singles. Over to your side sit up and lift back up to vertical for one. 10 times for two. And up, hips forward, elbows back, neck long, three. You're still thinking posture here, four. And five, and lift, really lengthening through the crown of the head, six. Up, over for seven, and lift, and eight, and up. Two more sets, nine. On the 10th one, you're here, you're gonna hold, you're gonna rotate your elbows and shoulders towards the mat, untwist to face front, but stay at your working level five times. Rotate for two, and untwist, rotate for three, and untwist, rotate for four, and untwist, one more time, rotate for five, Untwist, come all the way up. Take your right arm down your thigh. Left arm over for a stretch and then prepare for the other side. Left arm to your, left leg to your gate position. Heel in line with knee, toes point forward, shoulders and hips forward, hands behind your head. Side sit up over, straight line, crown of the head to the heel, hold five, four, three, two, one, and coming up five times over for two. Hold, two, three, four, five, and come up. Third one, over, hold, two, three, four, five. Feeling that left side of your waist. You got two more sets here. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, and come up. One more time, over, hold, five, four, three, two, one, and 10 singles. Over to a straight line and pull yourself right back up for one. Over two, and lift. Neck long, collarbone wide, elbows back, hips forward. And four, and five. Ground into that left heel, it's gonna help you. This is six, we got five more. Well, now we have four more. This is seven, and up. Eight, really feeling the left side of the waist. Two more, and up. Last one, you're gonna hold it down here. Rotate that left elbow towards the mat. Untwist, come back to your working level. You're not lifting, you stay low. Five times, twist towards the mat. Rotate open for two. Try not to let your hips move. Three, really grounding through that left heel. Four, one more time, five, Untwist, left arm down, right arm up. You take your side bend. We lie back down on the mat. We're gonna do our reverse crunch series here. So head down, arms down, palms down, knees into your chest. You're gonna lower your toes, tap the mat, and then pull your knees in, lift the hips up. Lower the toes, tap the mat, and hips up. For three, and up. Do not Kick your feet, keep your heels pulling to your tushy. It's gonna make the motion smaller and harder, which is, I mean, really what we want. We got what, five more, four more. Press your palms down, two more. Last one, leave the knees into your chest. Hands behind your head, curl the head up and pull your elbows to your knees. Lower the head all the way down as you tap your toes. Head up, elbows to knees. It's your double crunch. Three, and pull it up. Four, and pull it up. Just lightly tapping the toes. Try not to put too much weight into the feet so you keep it really connected to the core. I think we have four more. Three more, really get that upper body curl, two more, last one, and then head down, arms down, palms down, reverse crunch, reverse curl with a double leg lift, double legs lower, double legs lift, hips up, toes to the ceiling, lower for two, and lift, lower for three, we're doing 10 of these, and up, again, when you take your reverse crunch here, don't throw your toes back overhead. You wanna think about sending those toes straight up to the ceiling. 
It's hard, but you can do it. Five. We got five more here. This is six. Try to keep pressing the palms and the shoulders in the mat. Eight. Nine. Ten. And then lower the legs to your working level. Curl the head up. Hold for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Come onto your right forearm. We're doing 25 hip dips in your side plank. I, I know that's kind of a high number, but we can do it. All right, so have your feet stacked if possible, knees a little bit bent so that when you lift up, you straighten your legs and your weight goes over that arm. Left arm to the ceiling, hips go down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, keep the neck long, 13, 14, collarbone wide, 15, we got 10 more at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, five more, we can do it, four more, three more, two more, and then all the way down, right away to the other side, left forearm down, feet stacked, knees start a little bit bent so that when you lift up, your weight goes nice and over that forearm and shoulder, right arm to the ceiling, neck long, lower lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, reminder to keep the neck long, collarbone wide. This is 14, I think, 15, 16, 17, really getting those hips up, 18, 19, 20. We got five more, four more, three more, two more, last one, and rest it down. Okay, we're gonna do 18 push-ups. With our warm-up, we ended up doing 12 push-ups, now we do 18, that's 30 push-ups total. It's very reasonable, okay? Hands nice and wide. I want your pinky fingers and ring fingers off the sides of the mat, hands a little bit wider than your shoulders. Engage the glutes as you step back, crown of the head and neck go forward. And lower, press one. Lower, press two. Three, keep your weight forward, four five, six, really push at the top, engage the chest, seven, eight, we only have 10 more, nine, 10, 11, keep the pace, keep the rhythm, keep the breath, 13, 14, 15, we got this, 16, 17, 18, and shake it out. And uh, do I have a six pack yet? Sure feels like I do. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. I did. See you next time. Bye, friend.